coffee is out of the way, this is how a usual day in the boatyard starts. What are we working on today, sorry? We still have a lot on the list. What list number is this? 254. Do you think it's the last one? <laughs> We're hoping so. I don't think so. I know for sure it's not the last one. But it's the second very last one before going in the water. So you tell me what, what's on? Service Seacox, take you up on the mast and for me to clean the bottom of the dinghy. The wind can start any time. Yeah, we need to do that first. Put the anemometer up. We took our anemometer off when we arrived in New Zealand because uh, it was stuck and uh, we tried to replace it but it's very expensive so that option is gone and now we're trying to fix it and it's just basically putting some uh, oil on it to keep this um, this paddle moving so I put a bit of oil already and you can see it's spinning it was stuck with corrosion, salt and other things so now just checking that everything is still okay as such I'll put a bit more oil on it and put it up and see if it's work gonna work for uh, for a bit or not. Usually it goes for a bit and then it stops. So we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get it going. Seems like it's working fine. <laughs> yes, and when you put it up the mast for some reason, it all gets funny very quickly. But uh, we put I put plenty of oil. This, this seems alright, like this, it doesn't have any play, so the bearing and whatever it has inside there, it's okay, it's happy. I removed all the propellers, it's all good, we're gonna lubricate it, it's got enough oil to, to live underwater for the foreseeable future. <laughs> so now we're gonna go up the mast, install it, and hopefully... Let's blow a sort of gale force wind. Yes, we're going. It's got two solar panels up here to charge the, the system, the battery inside, and then it feeds uh, Wi Fi through our display unit. Let's go. Oh. using the bosom's chair Anna will uh, lift me up the mast and we always use two, two lines, two halyards uh, the main halyard uh, is just the point that she's lifting me up with and we use the second one just as a backup uh, it's always good to have backup and uh, especially when you go uh, 15 meters up there it's, uh, it's good to have a security line so that's what we'll be doing and this is uh, this is our main halyard here, and we don't we don't usually connect the shackle to this. We use we use a knot like this because this uh, can fail. Apparently, it's stainless steel. It's very strong, but it's better to use a knot. So we will attach the knot here, and then of course connect this as well. And then the other line, which is up here, will be our our backup line so this one can go with the block like this so we we have main for lifting and this is a backup uh -huh.
As we don't have any electric winches on our boat, going up the mast is a fully hands-on job. Whilst I am working hard winching, Thorin helps me by climbing and pulling his body weight up. If you're afraid of heights, well, you know what to do. Find a fellow sailor and pay him or her later with some beers. As the saying goes, we like to mash two potatoes with one fork. So when up there, we also do a rig check, which usually leads to a few other jobs. The diagnosis, Orin? Uh, we've got a wind instrument up there, the anemometer. We've got a bit of rust we need to clean on, uh, on the rigging, on the lower shrouds. That's going to be your job. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe, comment, give us the thumbs up and share.